just few hours ago mistral has released its 7 billion version 2 base model on hugging face in this video i am going to show you how you can fine tune this base model on your own custom data set just an hour ago i did another video where i showed you how you can locally install this base model and i will drop the link to uh, it in video description so if you're interested to get this installed locally you can follow this video but for this video i'm just going to focus on how you can install this mestral 7 billion version 2 uh, model locally on your system and then fine tune it i'll be using unsloth's quantized version and if you don't know what unsloth is i have done few videos around unsloth it is a fascinating tool or library to fine tune various models easily faster with 70 percent less memory now i will be using my local ubuntu system in order to get this uh, mistral 7 billion fine tuned so let me log into my ubuntu system so this is my ubuntu system which is running one gpu of 16 gb vram and memory of 32 gb before i do this fine tuning just to give you an idea if you don't know what exactly fine tuning is fine tuning simply means that take a model in um, which is pre-trained or base model on a huge corpus of data and that is just been tra trained on generic data but it is not optimized for any specific domain now fine tuning a model in machine learning involves the optimization of a pre-trained neural network for a secondary more specialized task by continuing the training process on a data set specific to that task this method exploits the representational learning achieved during the initial training phase on a large diverse data set where the model has developed a broad understanding of features across the data spectrum during fine tuning the model's parameters initially optimized for general performance are further adjusted to enhance its accuracy on the new narrower task this process typically involves a low lower learning rate to prevent the overwriting of the valuable pre-learned features and may include the modification of the network architecture such as adding or fine-tuning specific layers to better cater to the task specific data fine-tuning enables the effective transfer of knowledge from a general context to a specific application significantly reducing the need for a large amount of task specific data and computational resources so this is what fine tuning is now having said that let's start uh, installing this um, model first and then we will fine tune it let me quickly clear my screen now let's install first the unslot from its github repo Let's wait for it to finish. You don't take too long. It is installing all the dependencies and stuff from its GitHub repo. That is done. Now let's install some of the other prerequisites like Xformers, uh, TRL, Peft, and Accelerate, which are the optimization libraries. And that is also done. Let me clear my screen. Let me launch my Python interpreter. And now let's import the fast language model. From unslot. Let's wait, and this is uh, uh, through which we are going to download the model. And now let's also Im import our PyTorch and let's set some of the variables for quantization and data type. Let's specify an array where we are going to specify this base model. You can see that this is the unslot Mistral 7 billion one. And now let's download the model. Let's press enter here. And this is going to download the model locally. So let's wait for it to finish. That is done. And now let's specify the PEFT. There you go. So, and if you don't know what PEFT is, PEFT is simply parameter efficient fine tuning that enables you to fine tune a small subset of parameter in a pre-trained model the main idea main idea is that you freeze the parameter of a pre-trained llm add some new parameters and fine-tune the new parameters on a 
small training a data set and that is what we are doing here and you can see that we have already done it and what actually is happening in this command is that we are just simply adding the LoRa adapters or the low rank adaptation and if you look at these parameters we already know what PEFT is here we are saying that um, target modules are specifying the transformer layer components like query key value projections to apply LoRa um, to enhance model performance with minimal extra parameters R is for ranking the rank of the approximation and that controls the complexity and size of the LoRa layers and the values could be 8 to 128 to balance efficiency and performance and then there are a few other things like LoRa Alpha which defines the scaling factor for LoRa's added trainable parameters and that influences the degree of adaptation allowed in the target module and the typical value is there to adjust the balance between original and adapted parameters and then we have specified LoRa drop, uh, dropout is equal to zero so we, this is setting the dropout rate for LoRa layers and this allows for regularization by randomly dropping unit and zero indicates here that no dropout so which optimizes training speed and potentially overfitting the overfitting risk then we are setting bias to none which configure the use of bias in the parameter efficient tuning module and none here means that biases are not used which optimizes the model for certain type of computation then we are using uh, we are specifying use a gradient checkpointing to true that enables gradient checkpointing to reduce memory usage during training at the cost of additional computation and it is beneficial for training larger models on limited hardware random state is has some value like 3401 this is simply a seed for ensuring reproducibility in the model's initialization training and fine-tuning process and this primarily facilitates consistent results across uh, experiments then we are saying that um, we are not using RS LoRa, which is basically rank stabilized LoRa. RS LoRa or rank stabilized LoRa is a variation of LoRa designed to enhance training stability and model performance by stabilizing the rank of the low rank matrices. And then lastly, we, we are specifying the configuration for loft queue. A loft queue is a quantization method for further optimizing model storage and computational efficiency. Uh, but you can see that most of this stuff is around uh, optimizing the storage computational and memory sort of thing and that is the whole idea behind this LoRa thing and PEFT thing okay so now we know that what exactly this command is doing so let's move forward and now it is um, time to introduce our data set we'll be using uh, alpaca data set from Yama which is a filtered version of 52k of the original alpaca data set and if you have your own data set you can simply use it but i'm just going to use this from their github repo of unsloth so this is a prompt typical alpaca prompt where we give it an instruction input and output or response now let's also specify our eos to token otherwise it will uh, just keep running uh, to the end of times which we don't want it to happen so let me quickly specify it here you go and now let's define it otherwise it will as i said it will keep going on and on okay i think i just need to uh set up my properly uh, i didn't sorry i didn't give it proper indentation so let me give it so now I have given it the proper indentation. Let's uh, import our dataset library and then load the dataset which I just specified. It's a clean one. It is going to download it. It might take a bit of a time depending upon your system's configuration. Let's wait for it to load. That is done. And there are around 52,000 examples, which is good. And now let's do the mapping. That is also done according to our template which is correct okay so that is done let's move forward that is done now let's specify our training configuration first let's import the supervised fine uh, tuning trainer from trl uh, trl library and trl stands for transformers reinforcement learning it is a library 
or you can say framework that integrates reinforcement learning techniques with transformer models here that is done let's also import the training argument we have also done it let's specify all the training uh, components here so these are all the training parameters as you can see here and most of them they are um, specifying i think it might give me an error because it is not properly uh, formatted but anyway so most of these stuff they are just training parameters that how many passes it will make whether uh, um, what sort of data set it is using what will the maximum sequence length tokenizer seed all that sort of stuff okay so i have run it so this is good thankfully let's wait for it to finish you don't take too long and once that is done we will just run our trainer here let me run the trainer and now the trainer is running with the 60 steps and we are just doing the 60 steps in order to make it quick and still it is takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish and up to now you can appreciate the speed of unsloth and this is the main benefit and this is why i really like unsloth due to its speeds because it is not an sort of um, faster process normally almost 50 steps are done or 83 percent is done do not take too long now the eta is just under uh, just around 20 seconds now so let's wait for it to finish and that is done so this is it guys this is how you can fine tune a mistral model or any mo any other model there are a lot of them which unsloth support and you can see that how easy it is to do it with unsloth on your own custom data privately and locally okay now let's see how we can do the inference with our newly created model so let's simply um, use our fast language model for inference that is done now let's specify our prompt i'm just going to prompt uh pass that prompt in a prompt template i'm just asking it to do the completion so this continue the uh, fibonacci sequence is the instruction then one one two two three five is the input and then i have kept the output black and model will fill it let me generate the output now let's wait for it to generate the output and now you can decode this output and print it out and there your Fibonacci sequences it has just uh, carried it on forward and you can give any sort of prompt there as per your own data set so in this video you saw that how you can download the base model with Unsloth then you we have we created our own data set um, we use the alpaca one you can create your own data set on the same format and then we fine-tuned it with the help of unsloth and then we also did the inference now from here you can either save it locally or you can push it to the uh, hugging face by simply using the hugging face cli and i have explained that process in my previous video which i just showed you at the start of this video and you can follow that along to push it to hugging face or save it locally you can not only save just the weights which you have changed you can also save the full model in ggf format and the instructions are pretty similar and simple you can find them on unsloth's uh, uh, link too so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this base model this whole fine tuning exercise and unsloth very keen to hear your inputs and again mistral is really doing great especially in the open source arena and their base models are quite good so if you're looking uh, to for a base model for your own data set uh, for the fine tuning i believe that do give it a go it seems like a very good model the v2 ones in 7 billion thanks for watching i hope that it was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching